Thousands of fans are exiting the stadium as we speak. Emotions were so running, they were running high essentially all the way leading up to the final seconds of the game. Just thousands of fans at one point, even in the fourth quarter, seconds before the game was coming to a close, a lot of fans were running up and down the, the walkway outside of the stadium where the ramp exits the stadium where fans could be exiting the stadium essentially. Fans were just running up and down the stadium walkway because they couldn't even contain their emotions because right leading right up to the last few seconds of the game, uh, especially at that moment where there was that fumble, right? That fumble that everyone felt was, was a game changer. It was going to turn the tide. It was going to be the moment that sealed the deal for Alabama. But luck was on Tennessee's side. Everything came out in the end in their favor. A game that everyone's going to be talking about for days, if not weeks. Uh, an incredible, incredible game. Again, the, the score, the final score was 52-49. Uh, a game 16 years in the making since Tennessee last defeated Alabama. An incredible energy outside the stadium. Just thousands of fans exiting the stadium in good spirits. Uh, just feeling so uh, emotionally satisfied with the outcome, but also just that history. They were there to witness a moment in history that they could share with family and friends, talking about the fact that 16 years ago was the last time uh, Alabama and Tennessee crossed paths, where, where Tennessee had the victory, uh, and now they have a moment that they could talk to friends and family and share that moment with them. Uh, that they were there, they were there in the stadium to witness this incredible moment. So it's just an incredible sight to see. Just thousands of fans, everyone's dancing, uh, everyone's just in the street right now trying to make their way out of the stadium. Hopefully everyone gets home safely, uh, uh, you know, getting back home. But uh, it's going to be, there's no doubt about it, it's going to be a wild, a wild night uh, outside the stadium uh, uh, on the way uh, to uh, their homes. Uh, or most likely, let's be honest, a lot of these folks, they're going to they're gonna go out and celebrate. Uh, it's just an incredible moment. Uh, and spirits are just so, so high, uh, as you can see, uh, uh, across, across the, the, the outside of the stadium, essentially. And uh, it's just an incredible sight to see. Uh, and I, I think it's an incredible sight to see. Uh, to be here and witness this uh, and with, with fans, with the fans. Ball Nation is is, is just incredible, uh, incredible, incredible, uh, incredible energy. Okay, sounds good.
that everyone was emotionally going through that roller coaster uh, of emotions. Fans were actually outside leading up to the final few seconds of the game. They were running outside the walkway ramp that exits the stadium, actually, going up and down, up and down, because they couldn't even contain their emotions. Again, that final score, 52 to 49. And at the fourth quarter, that fumble essentially was it was almost a game changer where a lot of folks out here, their sentiment was low. They thought that the game was going to be over. Alabama was essentially going to take it. And again, this game, there was so much on the line, right? 16 years in the making since Tennessee last beat Alabama, right? So everyone was just so invested in what this game meant to them, to their friends, to their family. And tonight, it seems like, honestly, they're going to go home celebrating that they were in that stadium witnessing a historical moment. Oh, it's over. <laughs>
guess so. I'm ready. I'm here. I'm, I'm outside the stadium. I'm here with Kara. Actually, it's it's her birthday, her 30th birthday, and she she was able to be inside the stadium and witness history. Kara, talk to me a little bit. What was it like? What, what was that feeling to be inside the stadium? It's your birthday. It's a, it's a moment for you to celebrate your birthday, but also you're celebrating something just as great. By far the best game I have ever attended. I am a Alabama fan, have grown up an Alabama fan. I'm from Huntsville, Alabama, Roll Tide. But to be here in Knoxville, Tennessee, and to experience this game, regardless of the outcome, Roll Tide, by far the best game I've ever been a part of. It was right down to the second, right? That, there was a fumble, that fumble, and everyone's emotions were running wild, uh, leading up to those final few moments. Like, this, anything could happen, right? Anything, possibly even overtime. What was it, what was the feeling inside the stadium? Was everyone on pins and needles? Gosh, my anxiety was so high. I was sitting there, and I was like, I think Alabama can pull it out. We can do it. I have faith in my team, and you know what? I'll, I'll give it to Tennessee. Y'all did, did good. We did not play our best, but I'm still all for Alabama. But the emotions and everything were amazing up there in the Tennessee, up there with the Tennessee fans sitting right next to me and all the Alabama fans surrounding us. It was an incredible game to watch and be a part of for my 30th birthday. And again, regardless of, of, of the outcome, it was such an incredible competitive game through and through. Both teams brought it. But more importantly, how are you going to celebrate tonight for your birthday? Well, it is my birthday, 30-30. Um, I am definitely going to have a drink tonight for everybody. Regardless, I've got all my Tennessee fans with me too. But i got to say, roll tide. There you go. Even though she's uh, on the other side of the fence, she still had a great time for her birthday and to be there witnessing literally 16 years in the making since Tennessee beat Alabama. Back to you guys.
the excitement is, is, is rampant. I'm here with, with one huge Vols fan who is tailgating all day. Talk to me, what's, what, what's the feeling like? Oh my God, it's incredible. <laughs> History, history, uh, 16 years of history. Now, finally, the, the streak continues, right? The winning streak continues. 16 years since Alabama and Tennessee faced off where Tennessee won. What, what does it feel like to share this moment with your family? It's amazing. My son was eight years old the last time we won, and he was here, and it was incredible. Incredible. <laughs> and, and again, the, the final moments of that game, right? It was a nail biter. I was closing my eyes and holding my hold my ears. I was so scared. <laughs> what, what was everyone saying? You, you're, you're right there beside me, tailgating yes, with your family and friends. What everyone? Pins and needles, right? Yes, pins and needles. Exactly. Yeah. I was terrible. I had to walk away. I was so afraid. <laughs> and more importantly, I have to ask you, right? Are you going to celebrate tonight? Definitely. Definitely. Oh my God, yes. <laughs> And, and you gotta and you gotta bring this right here. Yes, right? You gotta I bring that. Picked it up off the ground. I'm so excited. I'm telling you, fans are just there. Everyone is just going crazy out here. It's it's literally a block party. I'm, I'm not even I'm not even kidding you. So uh, it's just the energy is just you feel it. It's palpable. Everyone's in good spirits. So uh, it's gonna be really really exciting to see how everything unfolds moving forward for the team and for uh, the city as well. So. Go balls. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> it's going to it's going to make its way and I'll, I'll be up. It's not going to stop all night. <laughs> Unbelievable. I did say go balls. <laughs> That's incredible. and supposedly coming back to us.
it is sheer pandemonium down here. What a final scene at the end of the game as Tennessee is victorious. Did not think it was going to happen. Alabama had the ball. You got the Heisman Trophy winner moving the team down the field. But then Tennessee holds. They bend, but they don't break. And then they have to try a 49-yard field goal, and it's no good. Unbelievable. I thought for some reason, pretty much until Tennessee got the ball back, that we were going over. I had this feeling. Yeah. And then the second that they did get that ball back, that, that field goal went wide right for Alabama. Yeah. I thought, we're not going overtime. This no. is not going to be the case here tonight. Josh Heifel drew up three great plays, a couple timeouts there. Saban oh tried God. to face Chase McGrath. 40 yards right on through the uprights and we were uh, we're living it up here at Shields Walking Field. Well and you'd want nobody else to have the ball than Hendon Hooker. Yes. He gets the guys down the field. Chase McGrath, number 40, knocks it in from 40 yards, and the ball's improved to 6 and 0 oh, overall. Most you know, in SEC play. Bowl eligible. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. How early have we said this before? At least re in recent years. Yeah. How about this? The uh, Stogies are out, fans, players alike, smoking cigars, as Tennessee beats Bama and puts an end to that 15 game win streak. I'll tell you what, too. Half a day, Jalen Hyatt, five touchdown receptions today. That was huge, over 200 yards receiving. And, Rick, there was a point in the game where he had three catches for 107 yards and three touchdowns. That's amazing. I mean, just incredible. And then this fourth touchdown catch broke Tennessee's uh, program record here for game catch touchdown catches in a game. And he just went ahead and got five there in the fourth quarter. So he just hats off to him. Really incredible. But I thought, you know, Brew McCoy really stepped up there on the final drive as well, kept making that 27-yard uh, catch there to put Tennessee in field goal position for Chase McGrath to knock it on through from 40. Yeah, the fans are still happy having fun here as they're filing out. I was absolutely I was absolutely in the middle of that mess there at the yeah, end of the game. To, Took a while to get out of here. Around. He, was, he was breaking out the cigar box. We earned this one, boys. <laughs> yeah, wait a while. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Absolutely. How about this Tennessee the football team? are not going to be ending anytime soon here tonight. No, absolutely not. Folks, we're going to have much more for you as the Volunteers come up with a 52-49 win. Just absolutely amazing. You, you wouldn't have thought. The Vols went up 28-10. to Bama somehow comes back, and you knew they would. Nick Saban making the adjustments, but this team able to really push through at the end when it didn't look good and come out on top. You know, Rick, it's tough to kind of judge things when you're down here on the ground. You're, you're shooting the game with your own camera, but I thought in the first half, it was easy to tell that Josh Heupel was running circles around Nick Saban play call wise. Yeah. Just incredible, just the, the way he was able to draw things up and scheme things. Everything was working for them in yeah, the first half. And absolutely. Then, course, uh, Austin Price, let's bring Austin in. Price in. Just got done. Austin From our media done. partner, uh, VolQuest.com. What did uh, Coach Heupel have to say? Come on in, guys. Well, he's not hit the podium yet. They're smoking <laughs> cigars, and it may be a while. We were told it could be a while. Uh, the cigarette smoke is flowing out of the uh, out of the locker room. The cigarette smoke is flowing out of here as the people slowly trickle out, and the uh, uprights are somewhere between third and Gill. <laughs> no, no doubt. Brent, we haven't seen this kind of scene in a long time. No, I mean, what a moment for, for all these Tennessee fans. I had somebody come up here smoking a cigar, and he goes, the last time Tennessee won, I wasn't old enough to get one of these. You know, he said, and for, for all the longtime Tennessee fans, you know, what a great moment, but I'm telling you, what a great football game. I mean, just yeah. a really good football game, totally entertaining. Hennon Hooker's pretty good. Josh Heupel's pretty good, right? You know, Brent, on Extra Points on Sunday morning, we talk about defining moments. There were so many, many in this game. Well, I, I would I would say, okay, that's it, and then, no, that's it. It was amazing. Yeah, it really was. And you go back and look at Chase McGrath's kick. It was a knuckleball. It's a, but it's a double clutch. He, he hesitated. The ball, he moved before the ball was snapped. He was too close to the ball because he double clutched. Nick Saban acted like thought he was going to call a timeout. The ref didn't give it to him. It didn't look like at the end. Just to get there, Austin. I mean, th those two plays, an unbelievable. You could find well, those rounds. You go back to last year, Kentucky, at the end of the first half. That's been the MO of Josh Heupel. Being able to take a short amount of time, get down the field. Look at the, end and of the second quarter there in LSU. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there, there's another perfect example. They stole points, and, and, and you know they steal this football game. But guess what? They didn't really steal it. They earned it, and they earned it by going out there and getting it done. Defense stepped up. They gave up points, a lot of points, a lot of yards. They still made some plays. So many times you thought they were down. Tennessee misses a, a couple fourth down chances, but they were able to come back. What resilience? Well, I think that's the story of this game. When you set back and get away from it and get away from all of this. Yeah. It's Josh Heupel's confidence, Austin, that he breeds to this team. No flinch, no panic, no tightness. They were ready to go from the opening. They were going to attack for 60 minutes. 
never flinched when something bad happened to him. That's a credit to Josh Heupel and the staff. And, and I also thought the play of the offensive line was key, keeping Hendon Hooker upright. I also thought, I mean, going back to, to what Brent was saying, just uh, the adversity that was faced before the kickoff with plugging players in the secondary, not quite knowing who's going to be able to go. Well, they had a walk-on walk on yeah. out there at corner that last drive. I, and I thought Alabama would try to exploit it. They didn't. It's a good day for VLT, though. The ratings are <laughs> Hey, the ratings are higher than the point total. And the point total, folks, 52-49. Tennessee remains unbeaten, 6-0 overall, 3-0 in conference play as they beat Bama and break that, snap that 15-game skid. How about it, Vol fans? What a scene here at Neyland Stadium, folks. That's it for now. We'll be back to wrap things up right after this timeout. Check one, two. We're out here outside Neyland Stadium. John Pierceau is here with Richard Mason. Vols win, thriller. Yep, you're good. So yeah, you take it, just set me up. Yeah. Their new station. Their yep. new station. Get this guy out of here. Give me a standby or something. Saturday in October. You what got a, what you wanted, buddy. What a movie. It's Pete's Watertown, man. <laughs> I'll tell you. It's Pete's Watertown. Do we know when we're going on? How much? 30 seconds. Oh, okay. Are you going to meet and the fan? or? go to you. And then the fan or just? Yeah. I'll, I'll play it. I think, we'll, I think we'll just keep it you and I. Okay. I'll bring him in later. Okay. I'll bring him Logan later. Have fun. <laughs> My shoulders, sign that goalpost forever. What do you think about all this? This is awesome. Oh, you got I thought we were clear. You guys are coming back. No, you're not coming back. No. Okay. I, I,
Shoot at the goalpost takedown. That's not something that happens every Saturday. Uh, but yeah, they got at least one goalpost out of the stadium before a few law enforcement officers ruined the fun, I guess. But I guess that's also stealing property. I'm not really sure. Um, so it's still the How the about students, the fun? Fans are having a lot of fun with it, and, and now this undefeated season continues. It's 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 that sentiment that just literally just creeped up right behind us, right? Uh, Absolutely. It's been going on uh, for, for for since the game ended. Essentially, fans out, on my side outside, fans were running up and down the walkway because they couldn't contain their emotions. What what was it like being inside the stadium? Did you see a little bit of that action as well from an emotional standpoint? Absolutely. I mean, make no mistake about it, Richard. This is 16 years in the making a win like this, and obviously we know the rivalry is there between UT and Bama, but like I said, this has been a one-sided rivalry over the past decade plus. So again, once that ball goes through the uprights and Tennessee wins the game, it is just jubilation. People are crying, kissing each other, lighting cigars. It was just a lot of fun. And you know what? I'm going to bring in one. I'm going to bring in real quick one huge Vols fan. Logan, Logan, you were, you were inside the stadium. I was. It, everything that John just mentioned, is that is that pretty fair to say? That is fair to say. 6-0 and oh to the checkerboards. Vols win over Bama. And, and again, what was it like, those final few seconds of the game? Uh, just, it was a nail-biter. I keep saying that word, nail-biter. It, it was, but I had faith in our team. Hendon Hooker moved the ball, get in position, and kick the field goal for the win. And we talked about it off camera. Does this look like, for Hooker, a Heinzman opportunity? Everybody around me said, now is the time. If he wants to make a Heisman moment, this is it. Thank you. I believe it was. You heard it right there. It's just the, the, everyone's in such great spirits. John experienced it inside. Logan experienced it inside. I actually, I'm actually I'm not going to lie. I'm pretty jealous that I wasn't inside. But I'm outside, and everybody is having such a great time. Everyone's going to definitely celebrate, uh, and we'll be looking out uh, for some of that action as well. Appreciate you guys. Good job. Thank Appreciate you. Appreciate you guys. Hey, killed it. That was great. Both of you. Seriously, good stuff. Easy. That's easy.